Hey y'all, it has been a while. Um, I kind of have been MIA as far as long form content on my channel goes. I have been posting a lot of YouTube shorts, been posting on Instagram, TikTok, all that. Uh, but as far as like making like long like sit down videos like I usually do for y'all, I've kind of been MIA. I did definitely take a break for the holidays and for New Year's. And I'm kind of ready to get back in, jump back into my long form videos. So I've been seeing everyone put out their like New Year's resolutions, 2023 goals. And I'm not really going to do one of those videos for you, but I do want to keep you up to date on my business because that's pretty much what my channel is about is my reselling business. And some things are changing for the year 2023. So I want to keep y'all up to date. That way you know what to expect and maybe what not to expect from me. So without further ado, let's go ahead, jump in. I will be showing some of my recent sales for the first couple of weeks of 2023. I have not done a what sold video and I definitely am overdue for one. So let's go ahead and get started with some things to expect from me in 2023 and then I will share some of my sales. A lot of y'all may have seen this one coming, but for the year of 2023, something that you're gonna see a lot less of, like a lot, lot less of, I'm probably cutting it by like 85%, mystery box unboxings. Now, if you guys have followed me from the very beginning, I've been reselling clothes for years now, and a big part of my business has been mystery boxes. And when I look at my sales, even some of my highest sales I've ever had came from mystery boxes. So I definitely think um, they can be beneficial to your business. However, I feel like I can source clothing, used clothing, better than what I could maybe receive in a mystery box, if that makes sense. Definitely for the year 2023, I do want to up my ASP, average sale price. And if I keep buying mystery boxes, um, I'm gonna get things that probably aren't going to sell for a lot of money. Um, and that's just something you should expect if you plan on ordering mystery boxes. You know, you may have a couple really great items, but then the rest is like trash. So yeah, I think I just want to source myself this year. Um, I have been going thrifting way more frequently than I used to. I get this question all the time. Let me just answer it here. How many times a week do I go thrifting? And I would say like last year, like year 2022, maybe once a week. This year, I'm shooting for at least three times a week. I want to be pickier. Um, I want to try to pick up stuff that's at least like $35, $40 flips and up. And yeah, I haven't been posting a lot of thrift hauls. I have been sourcing a lot lately. But if you go to my YouTube shorts, I have been posting a ton of thrift hauls there. So you can see what I've been picking up. Um, I will have a huge thrift haul coming out probably later on this week. I went to Alabama with some reseller girlfriends and we hit up a Goodwill outlet. We hit up a couple thrift stores and I got some really good stuff. And I'm even going to break down my numbers because I did not spend a lot on that trip, like less than $100 and I'm gonna make some good money. So be on the lookout, that haul will be up next. But yeah, year of 2023, not so many mystery boxes for me. That totally rhymed, right? So uh, I probably still will buy some because I do like mystery boxes, but instead of seeing one like every single month, you know, you may just see like two or three for the whole year. Another change coming in 2023 that you'll see a lot more of on my channel is selling to buy, sell, trade stores. Um, I used to just send a lot of my stale inventory to ThreadUp and it was a great way for me to make a little money and to move stale inventory. However, it is midway through January 2023 and I am still waiting on boxes I sent in last May to thread up. I know I'm not alone. I've talked to a ton of people who are dealing with the same thing I am. So it's no longer a reliable source for me to send my sale inventory to. Um, so I will be using buy, sell, trade stores a lot more this year. And then pretty much whatever doesn't sell on buy, sell, trade, I probably will just do a whatnot show. Um, a lot of my whatnot shows are just stale inventory. So I do a lot of like low starts, like $3 starts. Uh, so make sure to follow me there if you're already not. I think I'm gonna change my time this year. I guess this is a new change. I was doing, now I didn't do a ton of whatnot shows for the year 2022, 
However, I was doing them. I wanted to stick a day and a time and stick with it. And I did. Um, I did Fridays at 5 p.m. I was trying that for a couple months last year whenever I signed up. I find that I'm just competing with a lot of people at that time. It seems to be a very popular time. You got people like Rally Roots coming on at that time. So I think for the year 2023, I will continue with whatnot, but I need to pick a better time. I just need to pick a time where I don't have as much competition. That's really what I'm going for. But yeah, you'll see a lot more buy, sell, trade videos this year. And hopefully I have better luck. You guys know that I'm going to stall Encore a lot more than Plato's Closet. Um, I seem to be getting a lot more per item at Style Encore. So Style Encore will definitely be something you see pop up in my videos, maybe not weekly, but probably at least once a month. And probably my biggest change for the year 2023 is I will no longer be selling on Facebook Marketplace or Depop. Um, I just don't have enough luck on those platforms. I don't put enough time into those platforms like I do eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. Therefore, I'm not making sales and I'm not gonna waste my time cross-posting any longer. Um, so yeah, so whenever I introduce myself as a reseller, I'm not gonna say Depop or Facebook Marketplace anymore because I actually have not cross-posted anything there maybe five, six months. So yeah, no longer a seller on those platforms. All right, y'all, those are some changes that you can expect for the year 2023. I do wanna share some of my sales from the first couple weeks of January 2023. And then I did pull some sales from, I think, like December 30th and 31st of 2022, just because I had a couple good sales I wanna mention. Um, and someone gave me one of the items, so I do wanna thank them in this video. Here we go, I know you guys like what sold videos. I'm gonna share some of my favorite sales. Everything I mention right now are things I would pick up again. I never go over each and every one of my sales, uh, but these are definitely things I would consider bolos or items that either moved quickly or had a lot of attention and I would pick up again. So we're gonna do eBay, Poshmark and then Mercari. All right, first up is a brand I'm probably going to completely butcher, Skagen. Uh, I got this in a Thread Up Fun Box and I sold it for $50. I had a lot of attention on this um, and I really don't know anything about watches, but this one seems to be a good one. Um, next is this Free People. This is called the Lucky Lucy Swing Dress. This was in a size medium. I will tell you, anytime I find Free People, Pretty much in any other size except like extra small and small, it seems to move so much quicker. Um, so yeah, I definitely, if you're looking at picking up some free people items, I would definitely say the larger sizes, even though medium's not really a large size, it just seems to move a lot quicker in my experience anyway. Um, this one, I, I have to tell you, my screenshots are incorrect. This one says it sold for $58.99. It actually sold for a best offer of $48.99. So I'll make sure to say that in case the screenshots are wrong. Like this next one here, uh, my sister-in-law went thrifting with me one day and she knows I'm a reseller. So she kept pulling things for me to see if I wanted them. And I went to the men's section. I saw this jersey, but you guys know I keep it real. I keep it transparent. I do not know anything about sports. Don't know who this is. Kobe Bryant. I couldn't tell you who this is. Um, in fact, this is how much I don't know. Even though I sold this as a Kobe Bryant jersey, I kept, anytime I mentioned the sale to like my friends or to my husband or whatever, I kept saying LeBron James. So, you know, that that's how much I know about sports. However, my sister-in-law brought it up to me um, after I looked at it and she was like, hey, you should look this up because it's probably worth something. And I did. And uh, so thank you so much, Monty. This, I think the screenshot's wrong. This sold for $85, I think within a week. So I'm definitely, and it had some flaws. It had some fading. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend picking that up. Uh, this is an item I got for a dollar, Maury Lee prom dress. It was super colorful, so I knew it probably would sell. This one sold for a best offer of $40. Uh, Mother, okay. The past, I would say, three weeks, I found Mother, I think, four or five times. I don't know what's in the water. I'm not complaining about it. And even more funny, my friend Jess just actually put this in her video. Um, I was talking to my friend Gorgeous about it. I was like, dude, I keep finding Mother everywhere. Like, this is amazing. No lie, Jess went to the thrift store right after a conversation. 
she found mother. So yeah, I love the fact that I'm finding mother so often. Uh, this was called the Hustler, and these were straight leg, and they were just really nice, so I knew that they would do well. These sold for a best offer of $65, so I gotta get the rest of my mother listed because I think I have two or three pairs that I haven't listed yet, so I gotta get those listed. Um, okay, let's move over to Poshmark. So this sold the very ending of last year for $115. This was a free people dress, and my friend Emily gave this dress to me. She gave me this dress. She found some AFCO shorts. She found a couple really good things um, while she was thrifting just to gift to me. She's super sweet. I told her, I was like, we need to do consignment because you're picking up some like fire pieces, right? So this definitely seemed to be a great free people piece. It was a size extra large. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I think that sizing definitely can help you when reselling free people. So yeah, this dress was beautiful. Next, I sold this Roberto Cavalli tank top. This was $68 sale. I got that at the bag sale. Roberto Cavalli is a high-end brand. You definitely want to pick it up if you see it. Uh, this was a quick sale. I think I've only had these a month or two. These are a pair of, I forgot the brand name for a second, uh, Mark Fisher boots. They were just embroidered. They were honestly my style, and I'm like a sucker for booties. I know they're not like on trend or whatever anymore, but I love them. So I definitely picked these up, and they were a fast sale. Uh, next up, okay, so this was one of my consignment clients. Uh, as you guys know, I've been using the Flip app to do consignment. This is the client that I sent out a buyout offer of 77 cents per item. So I paid 77 cents for this Trina Turk um, wool coat and it sold for $35. It did have a couple flaws on it, uh, but the customer that purchased it, she said that she has a lot getting flaws out and she thinks she can get it out. She was buying it uh, for, I think she said her granddaughter. So hopefully she got those small flaws out. Uh, but yeah, I've had really good luck so far on the Flip app and I was really pleased to make all my money back and some profit with that client. I think the buyout offer came to like 11 or $12. So yeah, I'm already in the profit for that one. Uh, this is a linen dress. Linen has definitely been selling for me uh, at the beginning of 2023. This was a brand called T by Transparent, Transparent with an E, and it sold for $46. So we love that. Uh, this is something that sold really quick, and I'm going to definitely pick it up if I see it again. This was a pottery barn, kind of like a teddy bare robe super soft and plush and this one sold for $32 like I said really quickly uh lululemon active wear is apparently selling for some people my active wear is not selling I actually attempted to bring all my active wear to style encore a week ago I bought them prana columbia lululemon athleta all kinds of stuff new at tags items uh they took one off-brand golf skirt from me so yeah, that's, I'm, I'm not really picking up a lot of athletic wear. I don't have much like selling it. Lululemon though does sell for me. So this dress was super cute and it sold for 50 bucks. Um, this was a super quick sale. I think this was a 24 hour sale. This was a Bowdoin dress. You probably saw this in a YouTube short. Uh, it sold immediately for 47. Uh, here's a pair of Theory pants that sold for 90 bucks. I got at the bag sale, less than a dollar invested. They were new with tags. I was super excited to find those for cheap. And the last sale I want to mention is a sale for my, um, I can't talk today, for my consignment client. This is a brand you definitely want to keep your eyes out for. Uh, Cinca Sept is the brand. I sold this uh, sequin heavy tank top for $75 with free shipping on Mercari. I do use free shipping on Mercari. I use Pirate Ship to do the shipping, and I just kind of build the shipping price into the price of the item. Um, if you sell a Mercari and you use Mercari shipping, they did update the prices and they are super ridiculous, like super ridiculous. So if you have not started to use Pirate Ship, it's a, I'm, and this isn't me selling it, I don't get anything from this, I don't even have a sign up link, but if you are wanting to still sell a Mercari and not use Mercari shipping, look up a video on how to use Pirate Ship for your shipping. It's super, super easy. All you need is a scale and you'll be able to do shipping on Pirate Ship uh, with very affordable rates. So. Don't stop selling on Mercari, but definitely 
stop using their shipping. This brand probably could have actually sold for more, uh, but because it's a consignment client, I have a deadline when I need to sell this stuff. It's 90 days, so I did have to sell this quickly for a good price, but yeah, definitely a Bolo brand to keep your eye out for. All right, y'all, that is a quick little update from me on what to expect from me and my channel the year 2023, some changes I'm making to my reselling business, and what's currently selling for me. I know these videos are really important to know. Um, I'm going to try to continue to put these out at least a couple times a month. That way you can kind of see what's selling and I can give you tips on what to pick up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to the end. And I will see you very soon for a very big thrift haul. A very profitable one as well. I'll see you soon. Bye y'all.